Hey guys, it's Sam, and yes, I'm filming on my phone right now. I'm too lazy to go get my actual camera camera, so hi. Anyway, welcome to a new video where I'm going to finally be back to reviewing... Oh, almost hit myself. <laughs> this sucker right here. Yes, I'm going back inside this case, and if you haven't seen the videos, I'm just kicking things all over the place. If you haven't seen my other videos, on this giant art case, I'll put links in the description of both an unboxing and a review on one of the products already inside, because it's a giant art kit. There's a lot of different art products in it. <laughs> this is my second review of uh, another product in this kit, and it's the watercolor pencils from Artist Loft. The entire kit is Artist Loft. I'm explaining this wonderfully. <laughs> so if you missed out on those videos and you want to catch up, Links in the description. Otherwise, just a heads up, this was live streamed over on Twitch, so if I sound like I'm talking to people, that's because I was talking to people. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you want to catch live streams from me where I do art and some other random stuff sometimes, I'll put a link in the description to my Twitch channel. Feel free to go follow and hang out with all of us over there. Anyway, let's get into this video and brace ourselves for the inevitable disappointment that comes with Artist Loft. I have here the Montval watercolor sketchbook. As you guys know, I've been going through this on stream. Uh, there's two pages left, so we're gonna test out two pages. And then I also have one page left in this Canson Mixed Media. So I have this one, so I have three pages to play around with today. And that's all I'm gonna use. Should be plenty. It's gonna be all of these. It's got like this nice fancy tip. Like it looks like it's supposed to be fancy, but it's artist long. It does feel really cheap. Cheap, though just holding it in my hand it kind of feels like I'm holding the most hollow of plasticky wood possible I guess I can just do swatching in this feller just to use it this sketchbook so I never have to look at it again I am the absolute best person to be making a review on this product because I have a thousand percent done so many watercolor pencil artworks in my life that I am just the best at it, not gonna lie. Actually, I lied. I did try this <laughs> product one time in this sketchbook, which is a, a like a normal paper sketchbook. <laughs> it's not really the best for water stuff. So this was my October 2017 to January 2018 sketchbook. So here is my initial test with these colored pencils, the same colored pencils, it's different paper. I don't want to be definitive yet because this wasn't this wasn't proper paper for these. So it not, might not be the best representation of what these are capable of. So we can't be, you know, certified crap yet, okay? All right, you guys, let's start with some swatching. Are there color codes? No, there are only names. This is exactly how it was packaged. I did not reorder anything. I didn't do anything. This is the exact order that it came in. Okay, so you don't get to yell at me. This isn't my fault. And burnt, burnt sienna's having a time here. Oh, it's because the plastic's all, it's artist loft. That's that's my conclusion with that. Also, this this is a little bit annoying. I wish this could, something could be done with that. Maybe you can just tuck it in like that and hope for the best. All right, so this is the mixed media paper. Just for a reminder. This feels very identical to uh, the colored pencils. It's very not colored pencil. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right, so heading into voiceover mode now, and uh, sorry I forgot to zoom in so things are a little bit far, but the colors are fairly similar to the colored pencil video, so if you haven't seen that video and you want to kind of sort of get a look at the colors, they're actually a little bit different, and there's some colors that aren't in the colored pencils, so they're not really a one-for-one, one, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but okay, I guess. Um, anyway, it's pretty much very similar to their colored pencils, so there's like zero pigment, uh, it kind of goes down unevenly, and <laughs> you have to press very, very, very hard to get anything down. Um, there's a little bit of a zoom in for you. <laughs> anyway, um, blending wise, eh, oh, I guess I'm adding water here first. Um, but it didn't, I mean, it reacted to the water. Something happened. Things happened <laughs> with the water. Uh, you can see it best with the black, which I think like the colored pencils, the black was probably the best um, in these watercolor pencils. 
And it, like it sort of dissolved, but it didn't really dissolve. And it sort of blended, but it also didn't really blend. It kind of depended on the colors. Um, is, is it a surprise? Is it really a surprise at this point? If anybody is familiar with Artist Loft, they don't make good stuff. <laughs> I feel kind of bad not having really good things to say about it, because whenever I do a product review, I do try to find some good things to say, just to not like <laughs> leave people hanging and be like, it's it's just complete garbage. But it's really difficult. Artist Loft doesn't make this easy for me. Um, but I guess to kind of go along with what I said in the color pencil video, which is, I mean, it could be nice for just sort of quick studies or just getting something out there or just like drawing something you don't really care about. But for a serious drawing, I can't recommend, <laughs> I can't, I just can't recommend these pencils. Uh, I did try to do a couple of actual landscape drawing with these and it was just it's so extremely difficult. I was trying very hard to avoid burnishing because I just, I hate burnishing and like it ruins your artwork. <laughs> so, um, it just it didn't seem to matter how many times I layered down the pencils like it wouldn't put any more pigment down and uh, with particularly with this uh, first one I added water to the blue sky before I did any of the greenery and I just I couldn't really color on top of the blue after that I don't know if maybe the paper was too wet I mean I did a uh, later down in the video I did a third drawing where I did give it enough time to really dry and I had a better opportunity to uh, go back over it, but it was still like not <laughs> that good. <laughs> so layering was difficult. It didn't really dissolve the pencils. Um, you couldn't at all really get dark, so you can't really get too great of values. You're almost forced to burnish. And there were a couple occasions, um, I don't know how obvious it is on the video, but when I was using the pencils, it would just get really sharp and sort of cut into the paper, like a deep burnish. And then like, it would be really soft for the rest of it. And I'm like, where did this sharpness come from? Now I have this like dark line and I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> and I do apologize that, um, kind of late in the game, I guess. I'm not a watercolor pencil artist. I'm not a colored pencil artist. So I'm sure I'm doing a lot of things wrong. Um, I was also kind of in a rush because I expected low quality and I did try to give a little bit more time on the third one just to give it another chance because I did feel bad that I was a bit rushy with these artworks. But it's essentially the same result, like no matter how much time I took. And I'm sure if you put this in the hands of somebody more experienced with these particular mediums, they could probably produce something better, but you're only going to get so far with something that doesn't allow you to do very much. So that was just kind of unfortunate. And um, yeah, that's that's kind of the gist there. I mean, I kind of like how the sunset one came out. I think that one came out the best. But I mean, this is black that I'm using right now with this picture. That's black. <laughs> that's supposed to be the black. Um, yeah, that's that's not really a black. <laughs> so that I think that just kind of shows, you know, this this stuff isn't really a serious product. So, I mean, I've, I've equated Artist Loft to Rose Art before, so if you guys know Rose Art at all, I'd say they're, they're quite similar in terms of product quality. I haven't tried Rose Art recently, so I don't know if they've changed anything. Um, but yeah, Artist Loft, it's, I'm trying, I'm really trying, man. <laughs> but I just, I can't recommend it. I mean, I feel like I almost enjoyed the colored pencil one more, maybe? I don't know. It's... They're both bad. I mean, I guess that the... You could just do... You could just use these as colored pencils and just do figure studies like I recommended in my colored pencil video. Uh, just just little nothings. But for, yeah, it's just a shame because it's like a really cool art kit, but it's an artist loft art kit. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying not to be a downer. Um, quick sketches little nothings, I guess, little studies, just something you don't care about. If you're doing just stuff in your sketchbook and you just want to add a little bit of color, this could probably be kind of fun and it's relatively easy. And uh, it, just, it does take probably more water than a normal watercolor pencil would, just a guess. But I mean, just to add a little bit of touch of color in your sketchbook, that I think is where this product would 
be best suited for. And uh, yeah, so that's that's my thoughts and opinions. <laughs> if you've used these pencils before, uh, feel free to let me know how that went in the comments down below. And if you want to catch me live on Twitch, feel free to follow me. Link is in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.